Virginia State Police are investigating the stabbing attack on a prominent state senator as an attempted murder and suicide by his son, who died at the scene, an official said Tuesday. Cree Deeds, a Democrat and unsuccessful candidate for governor of Virginia in 2009, was reported in fair condition after being hospitalized with multiple stab wounds Tuesday. State police spokeswoman Corey Jeller said police were still investigating the altercation at Deed's home west of Charlottesville. His son Gus, 24, was dead of a gunshot wound at the scene, she said. We're still piecing together the exact circumstances that led to the altercation, Jella said at an afternoon news conference in Charlottesville. Based on the evidence we have now, we are looking at this as an attempted murder and suicide, she said. Dennis Cropper, the executive director of the Rockbridge County Community Services Board, told the Richmond Times-Dispatch that Gus Deeds on Monday had undergone a mental health evaluation performed under an emergency custody order. Cropper told the paper that the younger Deeds was released from Bath County Community Hospital because no psychiatric beds were available across a wide area of Western Virginia. Jella declined to comment on the mental aspects, citing legal restrictions on disclosure of personal health matters and the investigation. Austin Gus Deeds was valedictorian of his 2007 class at Bath County High School and had been a student at College of William and Mary since 2007, though not continuously, and had recently withdrawn as a student, the college said in a statement. He withdrew from the college last month and was not currently enrolled at the time of his death. Our hearts go out to the entire Deeds family the school's statement said said. Deeds, 55, was upgraded from critical to fair condition at the University of Virginia Medical Center in Charlottesville, the Richmond Times-Dispatch reports. The popular Democratic legislator was stabbed numerous times in his head and upper torso, Jella told reporters. Jella said troopers responded to an early morning 911 call to Deeds' residence in Millsboro, where they found his son, Gus, alive but with a gunshot wound. He died at the scene, she said. Gus Deeds suffered an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound, State Police Sergeant. Mike King told the Roanoke Times. Jella said troopers were still investigating the circumstances of the incident but were not searching for any suspects. Monday, Gus Deeds was evaluated under an emergency custody order by mental health professionals but released because no beds were available, Dennis Cropper, executive director of the Rockbridge County Community Services Board, told the Richmond paper. The authorities said Deeds had left the property on foot after being stabbed and walked down the hill to Route 42, where he was spotted by his cousin who was passing by. They went to the cousin's house to call 911. Deeds was then transported to the hospital by helicopter from a nearby farm. Deeds had four children with his first wife, whom he divorced in 2010. He remarried in 2012.